to find the area of the region in the plane enclosed by the cardioid R equals 2 plus 2 cosine theta, we start with the formula to find the area of a polar curve, which is an integral from the starting point of the period to the ending point of the period of 1 half r squared d theta. So for our cardioid, the starting point of the period will be 0 and the ending point will be 2 pi, so we'll integrate from 0 to 2 pi 1 half of our r value, 2 plus 2 cosine theta squared d theta. The first thing that we'll do is we'll take the 2 out of 2 plus 2 cosine theta, which gives us 2 times 1 plus cosine theta squared, and the 2 squared is 4 times the 1 half will give us a 2 out in the front of our integral, so it's an integral, 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus cosine theta squared d theta which is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 plus 2 cosine theta plus cosine squared theta d theta. The first two terms of that are easy to integrate, so we end up with 2 times theta plus 2 sine of theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi plus 2 times the integral from 0 to 2 pi of cosine squared theta. And cosine squared theta can be integrated by using the power reducing formula. Cosine squared theta is equal to 1 half of 1 plus cosine 2 theta d theta. So we'll start evaluating the first piece. We have 2 times 2 pi plus 2 times the sine of 2 pi, and the sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's just 2 pi plus 0, minus, and we'll evaluate this at 0, 0 plus 2 times the sine of 0, so that's 0 plus 0, plus the 1 half can be pulled out and cancel with the 2, so we're really just integrating from 0 to 2 pi 1 plus cosine 2 theta, which is theta, and then using a simple u substitution for the cosine 2 theta, which we should be able to do in our heads, we end up with plus 1 half sine of 2 theta. And we'll still evaluate that from 0 to 2 pi. So here we just end up with 4 pi for our whole first term, plus plug in the 2 pi plus 1 half of the sine of 4 pi. The sine of 4 pi is 0, so 1 half of that is still just 0. And when we plug in 0, we get 0 plus the sine of 0, which is, again, 0 plus 0. So we just end up with 4 pi plus 2 pi, or 6 pi units squared.